When you think about Valentine's Day, how does it make you feel? Do you feel excited and happy because maybe you have that special someone in your life that you're going to celebrate with? Do you feel sad because maybe you don't? Or do you even feel a little bit cynical because maybe love hasn't worked out for you the way you wanted it to and you think Valentine's Day is just a Hallmark holiday and you don't celebrate it? Today I want to challenge the way that you think about Valentine's Day and I want to tell you why I think everybody should celebrate Valentine's Day and I want to share with you 10 things that I love right now as I'm celebrating Valentine's Day today. So if you don't want to miss that, keep watching because I'm going to share that with you right now. everyone welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you're returning happy Valentine's Day I don't know if you celebrate or not and even if you don't thank you so much for watching because I want to give you a little bit of food for thought today but before I start I want to share with you a couple of things that I'm wearing that I'm really loving and usually I don't do this because this isn't my fashion channel but I do dress up for the holidays those of you that know me personally in real life you know this I love it so I am wearing my heart sweater, which I totally love, and I do have to show you my nails. So my manicurist, Elizabeth, did my nails, and I think they are so cute. Sometimes I do my nails for the holidays and sometimes I don't, but I have a fantastic manicurist and I do love her. So Elizabeth, happy Valentine's Day, shout out to you. I love you, thank you so much for all you do, for the health of my nails, and thank you for making them look great. But moving on, I wanna talk about Valentine's Day. Now traditionally when most of us think about Valentine's Day we think about love, we think about romance, we think of it in terms of romantic relationships I think, at least I have in the past and when we think about Valentine's Day only in these terms it can make us feel not so great if we're not in that stage where we're deeply in love, where we have a new love interest, where we're excited about love then it becomes a holiday that maybe we don't celebrate and maybe can even conjure up some negative or sad feelings and say I really want to make you laugh a little bit and hopefully shift your thought process about that because I love celebrating every holiday, I really do. I think that holidays are so much fun. I really believe the older I get that you have to really find ways to find joy in everything you do wherever you can because life is too short. I don't know about you, but I don't want to spend my life sad and depressed, angry, upset, or cynical. I really don't. I could. There's lots of things that have happened recently especially that make me irritated or angry or upset, but I'm choosing not to because I don't want to. It's not good for you. It's not good for people around you. It's not good for your health. It's not good for your mental or emotional well-being. So why not choose to be happy and why not choose to love? I really believe that and even though it sounds kind of naive or maybe simplistic, that's how I feel about life and that's how I approach life and I think that's why I do feel like I can connect with almost anyone in a matter of moments because I choose to be a happy person who truly does love life and I do. And before I get into today's video, I do just want to share this with you. You guys comment below if you have something to share with me too. The worst Valentine's gift that I ever got. I just have to share, it's kind of funny. Um, it was a <laughs> it was a hot pink bowling ball. I was 18 and I was dating this guy and it was our first Valentine's Day together and I am a hopeless romantic at heart. You know, I was thinking that he would get me chocolates or flowers or diamonds. I mean, diamonds are always good, right? Those of you who know me personally are not surprised by this, but you know, I was hoping for some sort of like a romantic type of gift. He was really into bowling. He was on a couple leagues. He loved it. He talked about it all the time. He bowled a lot. I think bowling is fine and I actually really like it. I think it's really a fun, like casual sport and I think it actually is a good date activity. In fact, I would love to go bowling sometime soon. I know that one of my clients just recently went bowling on a date and he said it was really fun, but I'm not super crazy into it. Like I wouldn't join a ton of leagues. I'm not that good at it. Just kind of a fun thing. But anyway, so he was so excited about my Valentine's Day gift and the more excited he got, the more excited I got. You know, I'm this young girl. I'm in love. I have all these ideals and Valentine's Day came and he did take me out to a really nice romantic dinner and then he gave me my gift. And I opened it and it was this like <laughs> hot pink bowling ball with my name on it. And he was like, I even put your name on it. I'm like, oh, that's like amazing. That's wonderful. I mean, it's not a horrible gift. And I mean, honestly, if that's the worst I ever do on Valentine's Day, then you know, it's not that bad. But honestly, it was not what I was expecting, not really what I wanted. So that's the worst gift I ever got for Valentine's Day. So let me know in the comments below, what is the worst Valentine's gift you've ever gotten or you've ever given? 
I would say even worse than that is someone that doesn't remember Valentine's Day and totally skips it. Don't do that. That's, that's even a little worse. Okay, so moving on. Like I said, I think a lot of us really frame Valentine's Day in the terms of a more romantic holiday. So if you have a spouse or a lover or a boyfriend or girlfriend that's the holiday for you but I really want to challenge your thinking because I believe that Valentine's Day should be for everyone because it's about love and it's about loving others and loving yourself and really finding joy and meaning in life in the things you do and to me there's no reason not to celebrate Valentine's Day even if you aren't in a situation where you can enjoy the romantic context of Valentine's Day. And I'm really grateful for my mom. She started this tradition when I was young and I grew up with it and I continued it on when I had my own family with my own boys and that is the red dinner on Valentine's Day. So every Valentine's Day when I grew up we would have this red dinner and it was really amazing, it was really fun. My mom went out of her way to make it really special. She would set a special table and there would be candy or little gifts on the table for us and cards and she always wrote us a letter and everything at dinner would be red. We would have a red themed dinner and a red dessert and it was just a really special time. It was one of the most favorite holidays that I remember celebrating as I grew up because I know that my mom put so much time and effort into it and it was so much fun and she really enjoyed it and it was her way to really go out of her way to show us how much she loved us and it was just such a memorable thing for me growing up and it's something that I've always continued with my boys and I continue to this day and I imagine even when they're grown I'll be inviting their families over for a red dinner because I love it I think it is so special this year the red dinner isn't gonna be anything super major I'm just making homemade spaghetti with homemade sauce and garlic bread which is also homemade with fresh garlic and so it's gonna be really good but Normally I make like lasagna or barbecued ribs or I really make a special dinner. I was supposed to go to Illinois today to look at a car and we were going to be gone for the majority of the day. That's why we're not. But you know what? It's just a fantastic time. I really love it. It conjures so many good childhood memories for me. So I really encourage you guys develop some traditions within your own families that you can really celebrate this holiday where it's not really around a romantic connotation. And even if that's writing a letter to someone you appreciate, writing a letter to your children, or sending a text to a special friend or a family member who means a lot to you. It can really, really lift your spirits and it can really make this day special for you, even if Valentine's Day for you means having a Galentine's Day, celebrating with your girlfriends, or celebrating yourself celebrating how amazing and wonderful you are and taking some time out for yourself to do something that you really enjoy. I think that's really important. So even though Valentine's Day is traditionally thought of in a more romantic connotation for people that are in relationships, it doesn't really have to be that way. I really encourage you to reach out to someone who you appreciate, who you love, like <clears throat> your, your trainer, <clears throat> if you train with me. No, I'm just kidding, sort of. I'm not really. But you know, if, if you train with me, you know how much I love you and you know how much like love and effort I pour into my work. I love it so much and we will get to that in a minute. But you know, think of somebody who is special to you, who loves you and who you love and it doesn't have to be a romantic interest at all. If you have a good job that you love, Reach out to your boss. Tell them what a great boss they are. Tell them that you appreciate the opportunity to work for them. They would love to hear that. I think like a lot of times bosses don't get a lot of accolades and really don't get appreciated if they're good. And so it's a great day to do that. But pick somebody to reach out to. Pick something that you love about yourself. Pick something special that you're going to do for somebody else, whether it's just a text, an email, maybe write a letter or, you know, buy some flowers or whatever the case, or do something special for yourself. Buy yourself some flowers, take a bath, read a book, whatever really is going to make you feel good today. But that's a way that you can really reframe your thought process around Valentine's Day to make it special for you no matter your stage of life, no matter whether you're in a romantic relationship or you're not. And I really want to encourage you, if you're one of those people out there, and I know there are some that watch this channel, you know who you are, and I know who you are, if you're in the stage of life where you feel cynical, where you feel like that's for people that are in relationships, that's for people that, you know, love other people, you do love other people. You have children, you have family members, you have friends, you have a trainer who absolutely loves you, who thinks the world of you, who thinks that you're amazing. I think that everybody watching this video right now is amazing. I truly do. So really, I want to challenge you 
really rethink how you think about this holiday because there is something in your life I know that you love embrace it enjoy it and take some time today to find the specialness of those things or that thing or that person that you really enjoy you appreciate or you love and when you do that you're gonna find that you can really enjoy Valentine's Day and it doesn't have to revolve around romance or traditional relationships that are romantic in nature. It can just be a special holiday that you enjoy and I think that's really important. And this is really why for me, I really can say that I truly embrace and love every holiday because I really think about my blessings. I started a gratitude journal this year and I really have to say that it really changed the way I think about life in general and I think about the things in my life and even when I'm going through trials or things that are challenging, I find things that I can be so, so grateful for and that I love and and that's why Valentine's Day is really special to me. So I want to share with you 10 things that I really love right now that I'm enjoying that Valentine's Day really made me think of. Before I start that, let me just get out of the way. I know that if you live in the Midwest like I do, we're not loving the cold weather, we're not loving the snow. Well, maybe you do. If you're a kid and you have snow days and it makes you be able to stay home from school, I'm sure you do love that, but I'm not loving it. I'm not loving my canker sores right now, but there's so many things that I do love and I do wanna get into that. So the first thing on my list, which will come as no surprise to those of you that know me in real life or even on YouTube because I've talked about it so, so much, is my coffee. I love my coffee. It's my everyday way that I wake up and my special treat and even driving to work, especially in the really cold weather, I enjoy sipping on hot coffee. And this is so true. So my mug says instant premium starter fluid. I definitely think of coffee in this way for sure, 100%. The next thing on my list that I just love is early mornings. Sometimes I just really love getting up early in the morning before anyone else is awake, even when it's dark out, and having some time to myself. And that's what I'm doing this morning. So that's why I'm drinking coffee because I am filming this video really early because initially I was thinking about my Monday video. So I am putting this video out today. So there will not be a Monday video tomorrow. This is in lieu of my Monday video. And I decided literally at like 4.30 a.m. this morning that I wanted to do this video today because I wanted to talk about Valentine's Day and I wanted to really encourage those of you that might not be feeling super positive about Valentine's Day and I wanted to share with you some things that I really enjoy and that I love. And so getting up early in the morning and just having that quiet time to think to myself, read a devotional, watch some YouTube videos that I've been wanting to watch, get ready in peace without having everybody come into the bathroom and disturb my bathroom time. It's really nice for me. I really enjoy it. I enjoy the peace and quiet sometimes and it really just helps me gather my thoughts. And so a lot of times when I do have that time and especially on the weekends, I enjoy it even more because everybody does sleep in. My family's still all asleep. And so it's allowing me to be productive and get some things done. And this morning when it was so quiet and I was getting ready to film this video, it allowed me to collect my thoughts and think about what I wanted to talk about. So I really love early mornings and when I'm able to have some time by myself. Okay, the next thing on my list is free samples. Yes, I love free samples. Shout out to my friend and my old client, Michelle. She used to train with me and so that's how I know her and we're friends and she's always been so supportive of my YouTube channel and my social media endeavors. I really appreciate her. Recently, Michelle started a new venture as a beauty counter advisor which is a skincare and cosmetic company and I think it's relatively new and she had reached out to me and asked me if I heard of it, which I hadn't and she left me some samples at work to try. I did try the body scrub this morning and the vitamin C serum. They were both really nice. Don't judge me for what I'm about to tell you but when my kids were little, we used to go to Costco to have lunch and I used to call it sample lunch at Costco when I was really tired or didn't have a lot of money or I just wasn't really prepared with anything at home to make lunch. We would go to Costco and we'd walk around on the weekend and we would have sample lunch at Costco. And sample lunch at Costco is basically you walk around Costco and you eat all the samples. And some of the samples, if they're really good, you eat them more than once. And there's so many samples on the weekends, honestly, that it can fill you up and you can end up leaving Costco after eating all the samples, especially multiple times, <laughs> feeling full. So when my kids were little, we used to do sample lunch at Costco sometimes. So I love free samples. I think they're so much fun and they're great. I can't wait to try the rest of the samples that you left me, Michelle. So thank you so much. Moving on, the next thing on my list that I love right now is red lipstick or anything that makes me feel feminine or pretty. 
And right now, still being in the middle of the pandemic and being that I work at a gym, my style's really casual. I don't really wear lipstick anymore at all because we're wearing masks so much and you know, most of your face is covered and lipstick is horrible under a mask because it just gets all over the mask and then it gets all over your face. But I miss it. I really miss wearing lipstick. And one of the things that I've always said when you're looking to really accessorize an outfit or make something pop, one of the ways that you can do that without a traditional accessory like a handbag or a certain pair of shoes is by wearing a pop of color on your lips. I absolutely love red lipstick. I feel fortunate that I'm able to wear it because I have a darker complexion and darker hair. I miss wearing it and I thought that Valentine's Day would be a perfect time to wear it. I do miss wearing lipstick and I really love things that really help me embrace my femininity and make me feel pretty. One of those things for me also is this perfume by Chanel. It is the Coco Mademoiselle. I love this fragrance. It is so pretty. It's so feminine. It's so sexy and sultry. I just love it. A lot of fragrances on the market now are unisex, so they could be either for a man or a woman, and those are great. Those are fine. I do work at a gym, and I do work in close proximity to people, so I am conscious that I don't want to wear any scents that would be offensive or maybe too strong smelling. I think this is great. I get a lot of compliments on this fragrance, and every Every time I wear it, it really evokes special memories for me. I just love it. I think it makes me feel so feminine and so pretty and it's definitely not unisex and I do really like that about it. So anything that makes me feel feminine or pretty, I really love and I really enjoy. The next thing on my list that I really love is teaching cycle classes. I told my cycle class yesterday that I have been really wanting to teach cycle classes for like 15 years. I've been taking cycling classes for probably 20 plus years. I love cycling as a workout. I think it's great. I've wanted to teach cycling classes for so long and I've been teaching now for I think almost two years. Time has really flown but my interest and my love for teaching cycle has not waned at all. I love it. Every time I teach I love it more and more and I find that as time passes I teach more and more classes during the week and I just love it every single time even when I'm tired or even when I'm more sore I still love it and one of the things I love about it so much is the group of people I teach. I have the best participants in class. I have to brag on my participants a little bit. I teach in a room that's used for other classes and other things so it's not a dedicated cycle room and this means that every time prior to class there has to be some setup. We have to bring bikes in, we have to move some things around and I just have to say my class participants are so wonderful to me. Many many times they know how I need the room set up and they do it for me. I don't have to ask, I don't have to do anything. It's done for me, the room is taken apart and put back the way it was prior to class for me typically. They are so wonderful. There was such bad weather yesterday. I was a little bit late to class because the weather was so bad and I was having trouble driving and it really stressed me out and it was really, really challenging for me. I don't like being late for anything but especially for work and I will tell you my participants were so kind and wonderful to me and just so happy that I was there after class. They brushed off my car, they made sure that I was safe, they really take such good care of me and they really show me that they appreciate my efforts and they really show me how much they love class. We've had a lot of fun in our cycling classes recently. I do feel like sometimes January and February can get to be long months, especially if you live in the Midwest where the weather is cold, the days can be very long and very dark. So I love trying to make those months fun and we've had some really fun times. We just celebrated a birthday so I made homemade cookies for the very first time and gave them to all the participants. There was blue and special music. We have another birthday next month that I'm really excited to celebrate and we have Valentine's Day and St. Patrick's Day. So yesterday we did a Valentine's Day ride in class and I showed my special Valentine's Day heart leggings that I wore in class on my Instagram live yesterday. If you're not following me on Instagram, I'd love it if you take a minute and do that. I do Instagram live streams every single Saturday morning and I just share more about my week, more about my personal life and I'd love to connect with you more intimately and personally over on my Instagram so please follow me over there if you're not already but I did talk a little bit about Valentine's Day and I did share my outfit of the day on my Instagram live yesterday so that is there if you do want to check that out. 
but I really, really enjoy cycling classes, and the thing about it that I would say I love the most are my participants. You guys are wonderful. You make the classes for me. You make it so much fun. I love teaching you specifically, and I'm just so grateful that I get to do it because it's something that I enjoy so, so much. The next thing on my list that I really love, and a client said this to me recently, and I couldn't agree more. He said, you know what? I really love the soreness after a hard workout, and I have to agree. I really love that too. I'm really embracing that right now. I've been really focused on my fitness goals, and I've been working out a lot, and I just love that feeling because it really just tells me that I've worked out really hard and I've done something really good for my body. So I really embrace that, I love that. So if you're one of my clients and you're feeling sore after we train, embrace it and love it because it means you're doing something good. Don't be mad at me, well you can be a little bit, but don't be mad and don't be upset. Be happy that you're sore. I'm loving it right now and I am feeling it more and more when I work out and I really enjoy that. So I couldn't agree with my client Jesus more. Yes, I love the soreness after a hard workout. I think it's great. Going along with that, number seven on my list comes after the soreness of a good workout, which is a nice long hot shower and or an Epsom salt bath bomb bath. Oh my gosh, love it, love it, love it. It feels so, so good. So when you've worked out really, really hard and you have that soreness going on and then you're able to take that nice long hot shower or that nice hot bath and I have these bath bombs that I just love that I got from Amazon. I did talk about this in a self-care video. I will link that below and above if you haven't seen it, but it's a good video. Some of my favorite self-care, favorites that I love, and these bath bombs definitely are fantastic. I will tell you the truth, I forgot about these. They were in my closet and I totally forgot and I looked the other day and I found them. I took a bath last night and I used one. They are heavenly, they smell amazing, they make your bath wonderful, so I really love that after I've worked out really hard. I enjoy that, that's like kind of my reward. So that is definitely number seven on my list. Moving on, number eight on my list is definitely things or people that make me laugh. I don't know about you, but I love to laugh. I love to have fun and especially now that I work in a field and I have a job where I can be a little silly and cut loose and laugh a lot and have a lot of fun at work, I really, really enjoy it. I used to work in a field that was really serious. I used to wear suits to work and there was definitely no laughing at work. It wasn't like that and I don't miss it at all. I love what I do now. I love working with the people that I work with. My clients are literally so much fun. They make me laugh so much. A lot of times when I'm training people at work, I think that other members like look at us because we're like rolling on the floor in laughter. I just have so much fun and recently one of my clients <laughs> gave me, um, he gave me a Chia Pet. Now I have to say, I have a brown thumb. I don't have good luck with plants or flowers or keeping things alive. I've never used a Chia Pet and it was a Chia Pet of Richard Simmons. Oh. <laughs> It made me laugh so hard because I had talked about in a cycle class how I met Richard Simmons in person at a fitness conference in Chicago and I talked with him and everything and so he saw this Chia Pet of Richard Simmons and he bought it for me kind of as a joke and I think it's so funny. I did try it last night with the boys. We kind of did it together and I think unfortunately that Richard Simmons may suffer from <laughs> some male pattern baldness because I don't know if I did it right. Like some of the seeds didn't stay stuck on so we'll see how it goes but if it works out, I think it's going to maybe end up in cycle class. <laughs> I think that would be so funny. But like I love like things that make me laugh and when people make me laugh and just being silly and funny and that's kind of why I do dress up for every holiday because I love making people laugh because I do believe that laughter is the best medicine and when you're working out hard and when I'm challenging people to do things that maybe they wouldn't do on their own or that are uncomfortable or hard to do, it's easier to do those things when you're laughing and you're having fun and I just think that when we laugh, when we have fun, when we're able to even even laugh at ourselves when we're silly or we make mistakes. It just makes life in general so much more enjoyable. So I love that and I love any opportunity with any person or anything that just makes me laugh. That's something that I definitely love. Number nine on my list is definitely kind and generous people. And I have really experienced this so much in my personal life lately. A lot of you know that I was in a car accident recently and my car was totaled. And I will just tell you just the outpouring of love and support and concern I've received from my boss, my coworkers, you know, my clients, and just 
the offers of help and the offers of like driving me around and different things have been so heartwarming and touching. I really appreciate it. And recently, like this past week, I had an experience that I had never experienced. I was working out at work after teaching a cycle class on Thursday night and I worked out too hard and I got really sick. I got really lightheaded, really dizzy. My vision was blurry. I like almost passed out. I felt really, really sick and it kind of was scary. My son was with me and my client was there too because he'd been working out with my son and it was really, really scary. Obviously, I'm fine. It passed. I think that I just had really low blood sugar and I was really tired and I just pushed myself too hard. So that's a word to the wise. Like I always tell my clients, listen to your body. Don't do that because that's not good. But I had to lay down at work for a while and just get myself in the right frame of mind to be safe to go home. And I will tell you, my son was so incredibly sweet, so caring. He like waited for me. I had to go to Target to get some things that I wanted for my Valentine's Day cycle ride. He did everything for me. So if you were in my Saturday ride, the candy that you got that was purchased by my son, that was put together by my son, he didn't want me to do anything. My client that was there was really great. He waited with us. He stayed there. He wanted to make sure I was okay. So people that are kind and generous just really touch my heart and I'm so proud of my kids because they really are that way. They're just so kind and so generous and my son is always thinking of things he can do for me, things that he can buy me. Now that he's working and he has a debit card, we randomly have Grubhub and like Starbucks coffee drinks show up for me. He's so, so sweet. He's so thoughtful. He's always thinking of me. And so people that touch my life with a kind and generous heart, and there's been other things that have happened recently. And I just, honestly, it makes me teary because I feel so grateful and I feel so blessed to even have anyone in my life that would treat me that way, that would be so kind, so generous, and so loving to me. It just really makes me happy and I really love it and I'm so grateful for you. If you're one of the people in my life recently who has just stepped in, made my life easier, brushed off my car when it was snowing really hard, put away the bikes after class so I didn't have to do it, cleaned up things for me so I didn't have to do it, ordered me food, driven me around, whatever the situation or the case was that you've helped me, that you've really given of yourself to me, thank you so much. I just want to tell you you know it means so much to me and no act of kindness that you've done for me no matter how small you think it is goes unnoticed or unappreciated i appreciate everything that anyone ever does for me thank you so much that touches my heart more than you ever could know and the last thing on my list that i'm really loving and that i'm appreciative of and grateful for is that i can take all of the things in my life that are bad things that either have happened to me or that i've done or bad decisions that i've made and really make those things a learning experience and a growth experience for everybody on my motivational channel and i can really use those things for a greater good to motivate and to inspire people and to bring awareness and for that I'm so grateful and I do love that because it really means that no part of my life no matter good or bad is wasteful and no part of my life no matter good or bad do I have to look back and say this was just a terrible time in my life that I wish never happened because I can use that terrible time and use it for something good now. And I love that and I'm so grateful for that. I'm grateful for this opportunity to talk to you on YouTube. I'm grateful for your time. I'm so appreciative and I love the fact that you take the time to spend a few minutes of your precious time with me. Thank you so much. It means so much to me. If you're watching this video right now, I wanna tell you that I love you. I appreciate you. I'm so grateful for you. And thank you so much for being a part of my YouTube family. So that's it, you guys. No matter who you're with, where you are, or what you're doing, I hope you have a wonderful day. Remember that the choice to have a wonderful day is up to you. I will plan to see you in my next video. And remember to make your everyday ordinary life extraordinary.